Hello, this is Pamela, the Stamp of Pink Rose. Hang on, guys. I'm going to try to raise this just a little. See if I can. I know it. Just give me a second. There. A little bit better. Okay. I'm Pamela, the Stamp of Pink Rose. I'm sorry for that, but that thing had juggled down. And this is, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And this is our video today. And I'm calling it a concept card. So you can use any paper, any design that's going to fit. And uh, you'll need some multipurpose glue. You'll need your trimmer. And then if you're going to do an incredible design like I just did. And this was the Hippo one. The Hippo and Friends that's retiring out. And I just grabbed some paper that I already had on, on hand. So, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Let me move some of this out of the way. You're going to take your trimmer, and I need to make sure we're in camera shot. We are. And you're going to cut it at your standard cut, which is your five and a half, like that. You're going to do a fold at four and a fourth. Got it. Now you've got a fold, just like that. Now you really want to crease it with your bone folder, but my bone folder is downstairs. So, next move, you want to go in at about two and three fourths. So let me move this in. Two and three fourths, and you're going to cut it to the fold line. Okay, just to the fold line. Okay. And I'm hoping I've got it at the full light. Okay, I need to grab my scissors. Hang on. Sorry. If you get it right to the fold line, you won't have that issue. So, now I took it right to the fold line. So, it didn't quite get there. So, I'm going to just hand snip it. You want it right to the fold line. Now you got two flaps. You're going to take this flap here, the top one, and if my thing is a little rugged, I apologize because I just got my new box in and it should have my new blades and I haven't had a chance to even open the box. All right, so now you have it like this. Now you're going to take a piece of paper and I've got this design, and it may not even go perfect with the color I chose on the flowers, but you're going to get the idea. So now you're going to take it at four, cut down, and cut it at five and a fourth. Okay. And you're going to adhere that right here. And while I'm doing it, this piece is not quite big enough, but you'll take another piece. So I'm just going to use this one for the sake of argument. Okay, but you would normally take a piece that would fit better into the space. And now this is going to go at four. As I said, this is what I call a concept card because you're going to use it for whatever you want to use it for. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. Now keep in mind, I would use a bigger piece. So that would be two and a half is what this would be. Okay. And I'm just not going to run in and go find paper. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in just like that. Okay. All right, so now you have this. So now you're going to take your flower and you're going to glue it. And if you're wondering, I think I've got a little calypso coral here. And I may have grabbed Flirty Flamingo. Okay. So, now I'm going to take on the lower half, I'm going to do this. Now I've got it. So now you have your cart. Do you see how easy this was? 
Now, and you notice I've got this not quite, I didn't get it glued down either. So this is not quite straight. Hang on. Okay. Okay, we got it. Now I'm going to glue this down on here with my snail. Okay, now I've got that here. And then what you can do is you could take another piece, put it in the center here, stamp your greeting. Sorry, I guess I was out of shot a little bit. Okay, let's go over this. You can put a piece right here. This piece here is four by five and a fourth. I picked a flower and uh, this one is hand pinned. This normally here, you would have it at two and a half instead of the, the size I've got by four. And then you can get another piece, and I don't even know what the measurements on that one is. Get a piece, put it there, put it down with whatever message you want. And then you've got your cart. Very, very simple. Okay. And I'm going to tell you this. I was originally planning to do the uh, paper pumpkin today. I decided because I've got several appointments going on and I'm getting re ready to run to my third one today. I decided I'm going to hold paper pumpkin. I am also, because my schedule has been so erratic, we have not been doing Facebook Lives. And in the past, I had put it on Tuesday after I moved it around. Well... Schedule is still crazy because I've got a lot of personal stuff I'm ha trying to handle with family members. So what I'm going to do is I know I'm going to be home on Thursday because we're having my uh, the uh, Stampin' Up's having on stage for demonstrators. So I have to be home Thursday. So I'm going to do this at about 1.30 on Thursday. Now make it 2 o'clock. Let's do 2 o'clock on Thursday with Paper Pumpkin. And I will, if you've subscribed to my newsletter, you will find the notice on my newsletter on Tuesday. So, and I'll try to remember and uh, remind you on my blogs this next week that we're doing a Facebook Live at 2 o'clock on Thursday with Paper Pumpkin. So, I'm at least trying to shoot in a few here and there. All right, again, this is Pamela the Stamp and Pink Rose. Have a good day, good weekend. But as I said, this is a concept card because you can use whatever stamp set you want to use and whatever paper you've got on hand. So, this is a quick, easy one. Take care, have a great day. And if you have any questions, email me at Pamela at Stamp and Pink Rose. Keep an eye on my blog at stampinpinkrose.com for more news and things going on. Take care. I love helping you stamp. Thank you for joining me.